Evening listeners, and welcome to another special edition of Ask Cliff Recalls Righteous Gaming. The date is September the 1st, 2024, and on this special edition, I will be reviewing the game Final Fantasy VII Remake. Go ahead and take your headset out and get ready for this review of Final Fantasy VII Remake a story-driven action game based on the turn-based RPG from 1997. Final Fantasy VII was my first Final Fantasy and my first try in the role-playing genre, for whatever that means. I used to see RPG as a fantasy adventure where you form a party, work together to defeat stronger foes, and collect more powers and items. Final Fantasy VII Remake makes my vision of RPG in a new light. I now see RPG as a brand for a selection of games about powers and magic. Besides, how can I be role-playing when I'm faced with limited choice-making and more than a single character to play as? Curiosity aside, Final Fantasy VII Remake is a near-perfect experience. However, the game is short, and even though Square Enix would disagree, I don't think it classifies as a full game. The reason being is that we only get to explore and expand at Midgard, which is the opening chapter of the original game. The game is remarkable at keeping pace, hitting several key points in regards to the original. The battles are fun to play. There is a hard mode unlocked upon completing the game, which requires the player to change his or her strategy. Bosses work to crush your counters, so just as in a turn-based Final Fantasy, defending against impact is sometimes the safest course of action. The dodge is useful for escaping enemy proximity, but is sometimes unfair when waiting for a strike opportunity. As in the original Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VII Remake has an ATB bar which allows the player to use a special attack when full. The bar is quite slow in my opinion, but by using your basic attack on the enemy, you can speed it up at any time. This style of ATB is vampiric in my opinion. I feel like I'm relying on it to deal greater damage. It also leaves me open to taking further damage from the enemy. Unlike the player's limit of not truly being able to attack until the ATB charges, the enemy always inflicts heavy damage and can attack at any rate. This is why I don't see Remake as being a difficult game. The battle system is designed to boom the enemy by weakening the player which increases the challenge of the fight. Right. Remake's hard mode is defined as increase the enemy's attack power, seal the use of recovery items. In such a case, the real difficulty would be the challenge of conserving MP, because you can't use ethers of potions, and knowing how to fight the enemy with mostly your weapon. Effectively utilizing the stagger system is also a must, and finding the right attacks to push the pressure meter quicker is what you aim to do. When the enemy is downed in the stagger state, the player gets a chance to attack freely until the pressure meter depletes. The system is important for edging out deadlier opponents. As for a start, the game is not hard to get into, but will challenge you more as you progress. Graphics, sound, music, and cinematics are all done very well, and while it isn't intended to mimic the original, Square Enix reworks that essence in a familiar way, especially in the bombing mission Reactor 1 and Eret's home in the Sector 5 slums. However, I can't help but think that the game is extra linear, not because we only get portions of Midgar, but some of the areas from the original are not there either. I suppose the Jesse's home event was to cover Midgar's Sector 5 outlet gate, which could have given players an early look at the outside world that could be green with grass or total dirt land, as seen in the intro sequence. The game's ending takes a noticeable turn for people who played the original Final Fantasy VII. The ending is completely beyond my comprehension, but since this is only the beginning, I can't really do anything but see it as a way of concluding this part of the story. Is it even possible to rate a game this early in development? I'll just say, so far, so good. Watch my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth review coming up for this game's rating.